Pure Draco Slayer Gas. Welcome back to another video, everybody. This Draco Slayer deck that you guys are about to witness is going to be the most likely played Draco Slayer deck that a lot of people, especially at the beginning of this release, will play. So if you guys want to learn about Draco Slayers, you've come to the right place. This deck is absolutely insane. Let's get it. Before we get into the video, though, I have a massive, massive announcement. The LH playmat has been sold out for a very long time. For the next three days, I'm actually going to be in Miami for the next three days. So in honor of my trip to Miami and all the beautiful mamacitas, we are going to be having a three-day special release of the LH playmats. If you missed out your chance to get them, you can get them now. Get them right now on TripGaming.com. After this, you will not be able to ever get them again. So get your LH playmats right here, right now. And play Pendulums on the LH playmats like a true Chad. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Draco Slayer gang, rise up, because we got the best deck. Let's go. First things first, I'm going to show you guys the classic uh, combo tutorial. Now, this is going to be, if you want to play pure Draco Slayer gas, uh, utilizing all the Draco Slayer's effects, this is it. This is for the people that really love, like, pure pure decks that have, like, not. this is nothing but Draco Slayers. There's no magicians, there's no nothing, and it's a very interesting deck that does a lot of things. So for a lot of people that like that Draco Slayer, pure, pure Draco Slayer type of deck, any pure deck, this will be for you. So there's a lot of ways to do this combo. Uh, there's a lot of different combos, but the idea mainly, I do want Majesty Pegasus to search the field spell. I'm going to show you the, the deck profile at the very end, but this is just a quick deck profile so you guys know what I'm working with. The field spells we have to deal with is a Sky Iris, a Coliseum, Dragonic Pendulum, and we utilize all three in different ways. You have to watch the rest of the video to understand how we utilize them, but there are combos to use each but I think you guys should probably understand this before we get into it. And going second, the Mystic Mind. It is a field spell turbo deck, synergizing with every possible human way to search the Draco Slayers with the end result of being the Rose Dragons. Uh, we're utilizing Scythe and Rose Dragons for now, but they'll probably be banned, so in the future when they're banned, we'll just utilize a different method. So the idea is you always want to get the Regulus out before the actual combo, because if the Regulus is out with the Dynamite in the Graveyard, your Needle Fiber play can actually resolve, which is massive. Leaving a massive pendulum summon. Power tool is able. You only play three equip spells. We already opened one, so sadly it can't search the other. But if you do not open a Durandal, it just gets you a free Durandal. So, and, and the idea of this is, is we're going to utilize Meteor Burst a bit here, as you're going to witness. It, it just makes it so you can make Absolute Dragon in the deck very easily. Uh, debating what the summon out there. Make Magic to Paladin to add it to end phase. You go Dagda, Vortex, set up the Scythe. Uh, Use these to bring up Napoloza. And the end board will be something along these lines with Needle Fiber, bringing up the TG Wonder, and then making a Baron on top. So this is going to be uh, Regulus, Baron, Vortex, Apoloza for three. So that's six negates plus a Scythe Lock. So this is the idea of the deck. And because Magic the Paladin gives you a follow up, gives you an add at the end phase, you'll be able to add follow up. And with Call of Duty, you always kind of get some form of follow up. I'm going to show you guys one more replay now. Just this is going to be super fast forwarded. I want to show you guys this one over here with three cards in hand. So this is just three. Like, I want to show the different ways to search it and how consistent it is. You have, like, nine ways to Durendo. Or, sorry, you have seven ways to Durendo, six ways to charge, six ways to Pambuku. Like, having three ways to, to your main Draco Slayers, I just want to show, like, you don't have to hard draw the Draco Slayers. You can go Durendo, you can go Rota, you can go Charge, you can go Pambuku to search. Like, there's so many cool ways to get there. And it's not a five-card combo deck. It's really a two-card combo deck, but if you have three, the end board's even better. The two-card combo is Ignis and Majesty Pegasus. Those two cards alone get you so much. But here, I'm going to show you guys a very cool idea. It's really the same idea here. So we're going to set up the Regulus ASAP. We're going to put the same thing at the grave. We're going to Pendulum Summon. And the whole idea, you really just want to set up a uh, Regulus before the Pen Summon to make the Needle Fiber resolve. And then you just go free and Pendulum a bunch of cards. Like, it's a really, really powerful deck. And on this board, it's a really, really, really insane uh, but at the end of the day, all you really need this for is just an Apollosa. Well, this is a common tutorial, so you guys can at least understand the, the theory behind it. This is the deck profile. Now on Patreon, I do show a bunch of duels with this deck. Literally, the next 11 days, it's just 11 Draco Slayer duels. <laughs> Patreon is just all Draco Slayer duels. Like, a bunch of duels with Draco Slayer, so I do highly advise it. <clears throat> and this is just a beautiful deck. So we got three Ignis, we got three Majesty Pegasus, three Dynamite, three Lesser Pendulum. You're playing every possible human way to get the Draco Slayers. There's no need for Duelist Alliance because Lesser Pendulum is the worst of the four, but it's still really good to have it. And I would prefer to play more Lesser Pendulum than Duelist Alliances because sometimes you might, you actually, after turn one, you run out of like seven or eight of the Draco Slayers from the deck uh, just by the combo. So you always want to make sure there's some left in the deck. 
Three Bump Buku, which will also serve as a six Majesty Pegasus. Astrograph, which is crazy in the deck. Auto's Revolution, you only play one target for Sky Iris, because if you hard draw the Sky Iris or Auto's Revolution, you just don't search it. You only need it once. And then you just search another field spell. But if you don't open it, it's really powerful because you use Revolution Dragon to pop, you use Sky Iris to pop Ignis, triggering Ignis, search Revolution, get Dark Worm or Luster, because Revolution can then get Luster Pendulum. So Sky Iris searches Luster or Dark Worm, whatever is more stronger. One will be a high scale, then you just normal the Dark Worm to get Gate Zero to get the low scale. So Sky Iris typically fixes your scales like that. One Regulus, two Illusion, two Souls. Souls is crazy in this deck, more so than Prosperity, because the extra deck is important in this deck. And you get, you're always going to get at least one free draw from Souls because you're literally searching a field spell every single turn. And after you use the field spell's effect, you're drawing. And it has a lot of synergy with Dynamis Charge as well. So just overall, a great synergy uh, with this deck. Uh, then also we got one Scythe, a Roll Dragon package. When If the Scythe package gets banned, it's very easy to switch up the combo. Just at the moment in Yu-Gi-Oh, this is the best way to utilize Needle Fiber. So we're going to do exactly that. And utilize Needle Fiber until it gets banned. You know what? Maybe Needle Fiber will get banned. Maybe Scythe will get banned. And that's fine. When that happens, it's going to end on a broken board. But at, in the meantime, we would be stupid not to utilize it because they're open to us. Uh, would you not want to utilize Zodiac Dryden in some way if it was legal? Like, would you not want to utilize three Zodiac Rapiers in some way if it was legal? Why not take advantage of the broken cards Konami has for us? Which is why we're taking advantage of some of the best field spells in the game. Rose, Scythe, etc. But when they get banned, we're good. There's backup game plans. Three Durandals, three Dynamis Charge, one Basil, one Rhoda, and six fields, four field spells on the Searchers. Sky Iris, Colosseum, Dragonic Pendulum, Mystic Mind, Terraforming Set Rotation. Going first. When you go first, you substitute the Mystic Mind for Secret Village or Zombie World. Whatever is stronger for the matchup or both. And then you always prioritize post side deck to get that out there. Uh, three Dark Ruler, three Regeki, three Lightning Swift Evenly, literally the trip special. And going second, we insert another Mystic Mind uh, because it does come up. Uh, you could even throw in three Mystic Minds if you want, but it's so easily accessible. But I enjoy having two because in the grind game, just having two makes sure that uh, if you Mystic Mind yourself and you're passing for 10 turns and you're like, you know what, I'm going to go for game here. So you go for a game push, you can't really get there. It's nice to just, like, the, the fuel spell that you set is just another mind. So if it doesn't work out, you just act, you go everything into access code, access code, banish itself, and one random card your opponent has, and then you flip up your Mystic Mind if you couldn't kill them. So it's, it's nice to have two for that purpose. Extra deck, Beyond the Pendulum, Degda, Needle Fiber, Apollosa, Access Code, Beautiful, TG Wonder, Power Tool Dragon. It is free and it makes us so have two levels of Vortex. Meteor Burst, Baron de Floor, Ignister, Dynaster, Magister Paladin, Galaxy has Photon Lord, Absolute of Vortex. The reason why you're playing Fulton Lord over Harbinger is sometimes before you Needle Fiber, you're able to set up Ignister and Dynaster, triggering both of their effects to go into Nibiru Stopper. You always want to do something to stop Nibiru. We're not trying to lose Nibiru. That's the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. This deck is absolutely insane. You guys have seen on stream how much I've been clapping people with it. So I just want to show you guys the different versions of the deck. If you guys got this far, make sure to smash that subscribe button. And make sure to check out the beautiful LH Playmats. Guys, it literally sold out. LH Playmats sold out fast. Like, we sold 500. Like, sold out, sold out. So I messaged Sam, and we're running a second time over. I didn't do these with Sam before, but Sam's willing to do them again. So we're doing a brand new release of the LH Playmats uh, with Sam. So make sure to go check them out. They're absolutely beautiful. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day. I'm going to go hit the gym, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!